Hi, if you're watching this video, there's a very good chance that you are one of my uh, current clients and I have at some point or another installed a vast antivirus on your computer. The reason I uh, recommend it so highly is because A, it's free and B, it's very effective. I've been very happy using it the last several years and so as a result I do recommend it very highly to friends, family, clients, whatever. There are others out there that are equally as good but uh, I've settled on vast and I've been very pleased with it. So that said I've gotten a lot of uh, feedback from some of my clients they're not exactly sure how to update it and as I get computers that will come back I'll go to check and I see that uh, they haven't been updating them and I, I'll ask why and they, their answer is usually that they didn't know how so I've been asked to make a little tip video here showing them how to do this so here we go the way I usually do it is I'll go down to my little taskbar here a little icon I'll right click the the blue ball and I'll come up here to updating first thing I usually do is I check to see if there's any program updates I'll click on that then you'll get this uh, window opening and um, sometimes it looks like it's downloading something and eh, it turns out it, it didn't actually change anything it didn't download it I'm not sure exactly what's going on there if it's uh, has to download a like a database file or something and here it says already up to date so that's good so I'll close this I'm gonna go back down to my little icon in the taskbar I'm gonna right click it again I'm gonna go to updating and this time I'm gonna select this option here and this will check for any uh, antivirus definitions or any other files says right here it's already up to date so evidently I'm good to go now if there were any updates available it would have basically guided you right through the process uh, sometimes especially if it's a program upgrade or an uh, update uh, for the program itself uh, a restart or a reboot may be required but it's it's pretty easy it's pretty straightforward and uh, in order to start a scan just come right up here again you have to right click the icon start a vast antivirus now it will first go through the memory it's scanning your memory right now for viruses or whatnot when it's done scanning the memory it will open up the main program and allow you to do a scan and that's what that looks like right there that's the main program window just a quick and easy way to do a scan click on the hard drive icon I always slide this all the way to the right for a thorough scan and I always put a check mark here to scan archive files now if you click this right here I also crank this all the way to the right for a, a high setting uh, this little lightning bolt here that's uh, you can click that to update but we already have so that's not necessary and then while I've after clicking that you can see right here scan local drives is on and I simply hit the play button and it will start to scan now I have a very large full hard drive so this scan is going to take a very long time so to keep this video short I'm gonna say that's it. 
if you have any questions about this or any comments you can either leave your comments here or you can email me at tj at tjstechtips.com I look forward to your comments and thanks for stopping by.